Rachel, thank you so much for joining me today. I was wondering if you'd be able to introduce yourself and tell us all about what you do. Morning, Izzy. It's a pleasure to, to be here and thank you for, for asking me to, 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 be our, to, to have this interview, if that's the right uh, uh, word. So I'm Rachel Shackleton. I am a herbalist, a naturopath and kinesiologist doing classical kinesiology and therapeutic energy kinesiology. My company is Green Key Health and I practice in Wantage in South Oxfordshire and also I run a clinic in Bishop's Cleeve just outside Cheltenham. Lovely. So very excited to get herbalist and kinesiologist on because I find um, they work really well together as quite synergistic disciplines. So as this is the um, herbalist channel, would you be able to tell me more about your journey and how you got into herbal medicine and also actually if you could share about your kinesiology journey as well, that'd be really interesting. Yeah, sure. It, it, it actually started with the, with the kinesiology. So um, I'm actually I'm actually a business trainer. I'm still a business trainer and I specialize in leadership, customer excellence, um, communication and now well-being in the workplace. And I was working in Russia um, where I had my own company. And at some point I thought, mm, you know what, I need to slow down. I need to start to think about how to plan for my later years and slow down. So that was when I got into kinesiology. And that happened because I was traveling India after actually nearly killing myself from the st stress of, of going through the um, financial crisis in, in, in Russia and keeping the whole business afloat. And I took two months off to travel India and I bumped into a doctor there who was running a clinic ashram. Um, and the first question he asked me, having never met me before in his life, he said, what, what is it that you want to do with your life? And I was taken aback a bit, and that now came from my mouth, well, actually, I've always been interested in complementary medicines, and I'm really interested in doing something around this, but I haven't found anything that excites me. And he said, try kinesiology. And that was it. I enrolled... Uh, in the UK, I was traveling backwards and forwards from Russia to study um, classical kinesiology um, at the time and qualified in 2006 with that. Um, that sort of several years on, um, I moved back from Russia and I started to work as a kinesiologist and I realized actually this is not really well known still. Mm. Um, after um, sort of another five, seven years from when I qualified. So I thought, well, I need to do something to go with it. And that's actually when I started to look at herbal medicine. Um, and at the same time, I was looking at homeopathy. And I think it was because the person I was speaking to in the, in the uh, CNM in London, who, who was quite forward, was like, well, you know, this is a great course and it starts, I don't know, next week or whatever. I'm like, well, OK, and signed the dotted line, paid the money and off I went sort of thing. Um, so I qualified as a naturopath and herbalist in 2016. And now I bring all these modalities together for, for the benefit of my clients. Yeah. So um, tell us more about, um, for, those of, um, for those people that are watching, could you tell us more about sort of what kinesiology is and sort of the difference between classical kinesiology and um, giving us more of a background as to sort of, yeah, what, what you do? Yeah, so, so kinesiology, there are many strains of kinesiology. Um, I practice classical and therapeutic. Classical, it, it, they all work in the same way in that you use the muscle feedback system to understand what's going on in the body, um, to find out where there are blockages and then and to unblock those blockages to allow the energy to flow and then to create natural healing in the, in the body uh, itself. Now, kinesiology doesn't just work on the physical, it works on the emotional. And the therapeutic energy also works on the spiritual level. So it's very much a focus to the emotional, spiritual level in relation to your soul past. What are you here for? 
Um, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't come up with a label, you should be a teacher. It, 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 it helps the person to start to ask questions of themselves. Why am I, why have I got this illness? Why am I suffering with this particular disease, which has indications of particular emotions, which has uh, links to particular organs, which are then telling you a story about what's going on with you. Um, and then with the, with, the, with the support of herbs, um, orchid essences, which I use for the therapeutic energy kinesiology, um, it helps to go into the system and, and to help you process those things that you need to process as an individual to be well. Wow. So, I mean, it's just fascinating that um, there is sort of this modality out there in terms of really understanding the, um, yeah, the the soul path of a human being. You sort of, um, and it's such an important part of the medicine. And um, you know, why why has this disease arrived in the first place? What are the lessons we should be learning from it? So, is that can you t can you tell that through the muscle testing? Is that how? Um, you get to pick up this side of it or it sort of sets the clients off on their own sort of journey? How, how does it work? Um, probably the, the answer to that question is actually both. Um, so when you work with kinesiology, it links up all the systems. So the, uh, so the organs, the chakra systems, the neurolymphatic points um, um, and various other, other points. And those points all have their own story to tell if you like. When you work, when I work through therapeutic energy kinesiology, it has specific points on the body that is related to particular orchid essences. And those orchid essences themselves have a have a description, if you like, you know, not 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 just the sort of Latin name of the orchid or the combination of the orchids, but what points this specifically works on and what aspects of the person, the soul that it works on as well. Um, so for example, compassionate heart, which is works on the heart receptor, which we would expect to be, to be here, um, is very much about showing compassion to yourself. Where do you need to show more compassion to yourself? Um, are you a perfectionist? Um, do you give out all the time to others and never have time to, to give to yourself? Because this is causing you to be sick. So, so that's how, how um, they, they, link, they link up. Um, so Temple of Light 5, for example, is, is, the, is the seventh chakra point, And that's your connection to the higher chakras but also to to the universe the direct universal line feeding into you to help you to hear and however you hear you know you might hear through through auditory you might hear through intuition you might hear through dreaming that there can be different ways of hearing so it opens up the system to to allow the energy to flow to then start to help this flower literally to open up and show the potential within every individual gosh so there's sort of an orchid essence for the to yeah the the different things that you sort of need to um yeah as you said to sort of blossom and you know follow on your life path mm -hmm. and how how does it work with the herbal medicines do you um is there yeah particular herbs for um particular as you said sort of the parts that you're working with or is it sort of you you test the herbs from a kinesiology perspective how do you in in um integrate the herbal medicine side so um the, so the herbal medicine side i mean when you when you work with herbal medicine you know you learn certain herbs due to certain constituents in, in a herb are going to be good for digestion for example or good for skin or um, um, your brain or whatever. Now, th th there are a range of, of herbs that you can choose from. And, um, and of course, 
um, my dispensary is probably 30% of what CNM had, but, but that doesn't make it a lesser dispensary. It just means, uh, you know, I've got less herbs to choose from, but I might, for example, have um, Barcopa maniera, which is a brain tonic, and I might have Ginkgo biloba is also a brain tonic. So it's, right, which one shall I use for this client? And I can then test that on the body and ask the body which one is going to help this person with the healing. Mm. So I can work a, a combination of, of both those, uh, those things. And I can also test a whole mix on them to see if the mix is correct. So will you, um, will you be doing that for all your clients then? Um, they, would they come to see you for the herbs or would they come to see you for the kinesiology? So how do you decide what treatment approach you take? Well, if so, if somebody, when, well, not if, when somebody comes to me for the first time, I always do a full case history. So, you know, going through the different body systems to find out what's been, what's going on with them and, and get a holistic picture, as well as looking into childhood health uh, and possibly health of parents also. So once I've got that, I then put them on the kinesiology count and do a full kinesiology session on them which then gives me a whole lot more information and then based on what the two are telling me I then design um, a treatment plan for the person um, which, which obviously lines up um, with their goals as well uh, now sometimes somebody's come from, um, I don't know skin problems but actually we need to start with the gut because that's where it's all coming from. And, and that requires obviously explanation. Why, why am I suggesting this before we go there? Um, and and I, I've never had a person say, okay, I disagree with that. Um, clearly if somebody's in pain or um, you know, maybe having hot flushes, which is really disturbing them, I, I anyway will address that, even though that might not be the underlying issue that really needs addressing, just to give them a bit of relief uh, to, 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 you know, to help them on, on their way while we go through the, the, treatment, the treatment protocol, if I, if I can, yeah. And do you, do you have a certain um, sort of niche or specialism that you tend to get a lot of clients or is it very sort of varied in terms of what type of conditions people will see you with? You know, I, I, when, I, when I sort of qualified, I thought, right, I'm not, going to, I'm not going to go down any avenue. I'm going to see what avenue comes up. What are the, what are the most people that I'm seeing and, and then go that route? I don't think that process is finished, Izzy. Uh, it still seems to be going on, but one of the, the, the common issues that I see are stress-related issues, um, which, which I found quite fascinating because being a business trainer, I'm like, why, why are all these people presenting with stress? You know, and, and it shows in digestion, it shows in skin, it shows in, 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 in hormonal uh, cycles and all kinds of things. And, and I was then linked the two together. And consequently, I developed um, a set of e-learning modules for well-being in the workplace mm -hmm. to help people to manage their own well-being in a preventative way rather than a reactive manner and to help organizations give the tools to their employees to do this. And so this, I guess, very much relates to your own journey in the business world and sort of dealing with a lot of stress yourself. Like how um, have you, did you use the kinesiology and the herbal medicine to sort of recover from the stress that you went through as well? Can you share with us sort of how you've used natural medicine on yourself? Um, I mean, sadly, at, at, at that time, um, I didn't know any kinesiologists living yeah. in Russia. Um, so so the, there was no help coming from that direction. Um, I basically did, you know, I just traveled and switched off for two months, uh, fed myself well, you know, got lots of fresh air. 
um, rested, um, and just completely locked myself away, well, not away, but, but off from anything related to work. Um, and, and, and that worked. If I knew then what I know now, I would have still done that, but I would have taken my adaptogens with me and my nervines with me to help me rebuild that damage faster. Um, so ongoing, I mean, I, I, um, I, I use herbs for, for myself, um, especially for um, stress-related issues myself where, you know, you feel you're pushing too hard or you're trying to influence something that you can't influence and therefore it's, it's causing you disturbance. And so, right, okay, let's, let's take out some with with ania or let's take out some codonopsis or you know just just support the system a little bit um so so ongoing i do use it and i also use um things like echinacea regularly if i feel you know mm, okay maybe and and maybe never ever it develops into anything once you do your 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 echinacea well i found anyway uh, so it's a definitely a go-to <laughs> cupboard. <laughs> so actually, so because um, you, you're seeing a lot of clients that are suffering from stress, and you've mentioned so you would naturally work with the adaptogens. Can you, yeah, tell us a bit more about these herbs and how you see them supporting people, and um, yeah, how you sort of use adaptogens? I'm just thinking people listening may not know what adaptogens are, so a bit more. Um, yeah, background in terms of uh, the herbs that you go to and what they do would be really helpful, I think. So, um, so herbs, uh, uh, like medications, actually, like allopathic medications, are, are, are put into sort of um, categories. And adaptogen, adaptogenic herbs are one of those categories, um, as we have nerve tonics, as we have um, bitters, we have digestives um, and uh, many other categories. And the adaptogenic herbs are, as the name suggests, they help your body and you, because you are, you're, well, you're not, you are your body, but you're not your body at the same time, but it helps your body to um, balance any stresses that you, that you're undergoing. Um, at, at the time, and, and we we all have stresses. Life throws things at us, and sometimes we don't handle it as well as we would want to. And with the support of adaptogens, it just helps you to take things more in your stride. And for those, for example, who've been through a chronic illness, adaptogens are also herbs herbs that I would look at to support the rebuilding of uh, the body systems and just health and well-being as a, as a, as a complete package um, after chronic illness. And do you, do you get a lot of um, clients sort of, ha sort of coming to you with that uh, after effects of chronic illness as well and sort of the combination between the stress from the illness and I get more people coming before they about to go off the precipice into a chronic illness, which is which is really good uh, for them because once you've gone off, it's it's more difficult to get you back online. I mean, of course you can, but it takes a long time. And I think this is something that people underestimate, Izzy, is that your illness, your dis-ease, whatever that is whether it's acid reflux or it's something more severe than that, like a cancer um, or, or, or hypertension or all these things, they don't just arrive from yesterday. They've been coming for a long time. And that's an accumulation of our lifestyle patterns, our uh, diet, 
um, our positivity, how we see things, how we communicate with the world. Um, do we have downtime, no downtime? All these things are combining every day, every day to build the impact on the physical body and on the mental body and the emotional body. And being a, a kinesiologist, my foundation of any dis-ease is emotional. Mm. You've got to get to the emotion to help that healing. So to, to sort of come back to your question, yeah, most people, have they've been to different places to get answers and they're not getting answers. They may be on a number of medications which are um, supporting this system, um, but at the same time are maybe supporting one system but affecting another system in a negative way, which is not apparent until you've been taking it for some, mm -hmm. for some time. Um, so generally, it, 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 it's a case of going back upstream. And I, I think uh, that's Dr. Tom O'Brien's phrase of we've got to go back upstream and look at where did this all start and then slowly start to peel back the layers of the onion, which is, again, what kinesiology does, because every session takes off a number of layers from this onion allowing you to process what you can process in that time period and then revealing the next layers that we need to 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 strip away to allow you to get well it's such a such a beautiful approach and it, it it's really makes sense and it's it's such a um you know i just wish that more people would be thinking about illness in this way and really yeah just trying to find the root cause and it's it you need diving deeper it's not just something physical it's emotional so you know you can deal with that part of the body but if you're not dealing with sort of yeah the emotional imbalances then something else will happen <laughs> so it's not even that's not going to be a long-term fix unless yeah you've sorted out the emotional side um so just how if people um want to work with you um where can people find you how can people get in touch so uh, my website is greenkeyhealth.co.uk um, and there, you know, the website, you can, uh, you can use the contact form, you can actually book in directly via the, the calendars on the, on the, on the contact page. Um, if somebody wants to contact me directly, the phone number's there, as is my email address. Um, I also have a profile on LinkedIn which is just LinkedIn, Rachel Shackleton, um, where I, I talk about not only health, but also health in relation to work and leadership and uh, sort of a, a, a broader picture there. Um, I'm on Pinterest or I have a Pinterest page. I also have Instagram. I talk on YouTube sometimes. I have my own channel, which in the last few months has been a bit neglected my lovely filming person hasn't, hasn't been coming in. So I'm not very good at standing on my own and talking to myself. Um, but those are the, those are the main, main avenues and the, the, sort of the main source would be on the website. They can find me very easily uh, on that. So that was Green Key Development. Green Key Health. Green Key Health, yes. .co.uk. Green Key Health. Yeah. UK. Oh, fantastic. And um, if people do, um, we were sort of just talking about this before we started, can people see you online or is it face to face if you if there's someone not um, in the Wanstead area? Yeah, absolutely. I do online consultations. Um, I can't do kinesiology online. Um, most sadly, uh, you need the physical body for that. Um, so, so it would be a consultation without the kinesiology. Um, however, it, it's online. I would do the full case history as I would if somebody was sitting in front of me um, and we would go through the treatment protocol, what we're going to apply, where, which direction we're going, why, um, all, all there uh, as would normally be if it was face-to-face. -face. Yes, indeed. 
Fantastic. So basically, you can work with anyone <laughs> and they just need to get in touch um, by the website the easiest way. So that's Green Key Health. Um, well, I just any I'm just thinking um, probably worst question ever, but any final thoughts, words of advice to people if they're sort of suffering from a condition or if they want to learn more about natural medicine, just any final thoughts to close with? Yeah, I think, you know, I think the biggest thought is that we are responsible for our own house. And this is something that, to a certain extent, we are where we are today because we've given out that responsibility to our medical teams, um, as well as to alternative therapists, you know, such as myself or homeopaths or reflexologists, whoever. And how starts with you as an individual and we need to to take responsibility for that and not look for a cure from outside we can do it ourselves with the help of a professional whichever sphere you choose to go in um and and that journey can be so much easier if if you if you're willing to do that um does that make sense yes yeah absolutely i think it's 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 so important for people to really understand that ultimately there's no one that's going to know more about their health than themselves and therefore they can sort of make those decisions rather than relying on experts to tell them what they should be doing we need to sort of bring that power back really um and yeah and in doing so you can work with the people that are going to support you on the journey but they're not going to be ultimately it's you that's taking the herbs or taking the medicine etc just so you need to know um more about yourself really i guess to go on that journey mm -hmm. yes and and it, you know when you have a good um, practitioner again whether that's a medi uh, an allopathic medical practitioner or it's an alternative therapist such as myself um, we will help you to understand what and where you need to focus um, and from my perspective I never ever overload my clients with you know a, a to-do list that's one from one number one to a hundred that's too much um, it's a step-by-step -step approach and, and you know you might have three or four things okay I want you to drink more water I want you to get out for a 30 minute walk every day I want you obviously to take your herbs um, I want you to cut out grains you know it, it, it can be so many different things but I'm not going to give a list of you need to stop smoking stop drinking stop grains stop dairy stop I'm not going to do that because I know that we're not going to win like that it's got to be a step by step, gently, gently approach, which makes a difference when it's all put together over a period of time. Yeah. And I think I think that's the really important bit when someone's working with a practitioner like you, it's, it's going to be client led. So what can actually be achieved for the person? Um, and so, yeah, it's it's not a case of, you know, do this, everyone gets the same plan and that that sort of um will, will solve everyone's problems because you know ultimately it's it's going to be the own individual's journey in terms of what needs to be focused on first before you move on to the next thing the next thing the next thing mm -hmm. yeah ab absolutely and i mean you've put it so beautifully that everybody is individual and and there is no such thing as two identical treatment protocols <laughs> There's not two identical people. So how can we be identical treatment protocols? Absolutely. Well, I would really love to, when post lockdown, love to get some kinesiology work. These um, orchid essences sound beautiful as well. I'd, yeah. <laughs> um, and I feel like you can tell me a lot about my own <laughs> soul journey. So, um, <laughs> um, but yeah, as, as, wanted to thank you so much for your time Rachel it's been really um lovely and um enlightening as well to talk to you about what you do and um how you can help people and thank you so much for doing this work and um yeah I'm just very grateful to spend this time with you thank you Izzy it's been a, really have been a pleasure thank you very much um and yes onward and upwards <laughs>
Okay. <laughs>